The climate of the north and central parts of the U.S. state of Florida is humid subtropical. South Florida has a tropical climate. There is a defined rainy season from June through December, which are the months most at risk of landfall in tropical cyclones. Thunderstorms led to several lightning strike deaths per year statewide. Florida is one of the most tornado-prone states in the United States. During midsummer, dust emanating from Africa affects the state. Between October and May, Florida is often dry. Occasionally, fronts sweep through the northern and central parts of the state which brings some light rainfall. Towards the end of the dry season in the spring, brush fires become common statewide. In winters where an El Nia plus or minus O climate cycle exists, rainfall increases while temperatures are cooler statewide. On average, most areas of Florida do not experience any type of frozen precipitation, although a few areas in North Florida can see a fleeting period of snow or sleet every few years. The Gulf Stream running through the Florida Straits and off the Florida East Coast keep temperatures moderate across the southern peninsula year-round with few extremes in temperature. Pressure, the low pressure measured from an extratropical cyclone was 28.840 inches per 976.7 a hectopascal during the storm of the century. From a tropical cyclone, the lowest pressure measured was 26.35 inches per 892 a hectopascal in the Florida Keys during the Labor Day hurricane of 1935. The highest known pressure measured statewide was 30.740 inches per 1,041.1 a hectopascal in Tallahassee on February 5, 1996 and January 4, 1979. Wind, over the entire year, winds average out of the north across the Panhandle and near Orlando, out of the west at Gainesville and Jacksonville, and generally out of the east elsewhere. During the summer months, the average wind pattern implies a surface ridge axis normally lies across central Florida, with easterly winds from Tampa southward and southwest winds across northern Florida, once Orlando is not considered for the distribution. The peak wind gust during the 1930 through 1997 period was 115 mph per, per 100 knots at Miami International Airport during Hurricane Andrew. African Dust Outbreaks in July the trade winds south of the northward moving subtropical ridge expand northwestward into Florida. On occasion, dust from the Sahara moving around the southern periphery of the ridge moves into the state, suppressing rainfall and changing the sky from a blue to a white appearance and leads to an increase in red sunsets. Its presence negatively impacts air quality across the southeastern United States during the summer, by adding to the count of airborne particulates. This is in sharp contrast to the normally clean air over Florida and the southeastern USA, which on average is the cleanest air in the USA. Over 50% of the African dust that reaches the United States affects Florida. Since 1970, dust outbreaks have worsened due to periods of drought in Africa. There is a large variability in the dust transport to the Caribbean and Florida from year to year. Dust events are possibly linked to a decline in the health of coral reefs across the Caribbean and Florida, primarily since the 1970s. Winter On average, wintertime is mild to warm throughout Florida. Lows range from 65 AA degree Fahrenheit in Key West to near 41 AA degree Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit at Tallahassee, whereas daytime highs range from 64 AA degree Fahrenheit at Tallahassee to 77 AA degree Fahrenheit at Miami. Predominant easterly winds across southern Florida keep temperatures moderate during the winter, as the nearby Gulf Stream modifies cooler air moving in from the northeast and east. El Nia plus or minus O winters tend to be cooler due to increased cloud cover, but tend to have fewer freezes. Three hardiness zones exist. The warmest is South Florida, but includes Tampa, Melbourne and Orlando. Low temperatures range from 30 to 40 AA degree Fahrenheit. Next is central and north Florida with the above exclusions and includes Jacksonville, Gainesville, and Pensacola. Low temperatures range from 20 to 30 AA degree Fahrenheit. The coolest is a relatively small area in northern Florida including Tallahassee. Low temperatures range from 10 to 20 AA degree Fahrenheit. Summer. During the summer, minima range from near 70 AA degree Fahrenheit in northern Florida to near 80 AA degree Fahrenheit in the Keys. 
High temperatures during the summer average in the lower 90s are Fahrenheit statewide. Relief from the heat during the summer comes in the form of afternoon and evening thunderstorm activity, late morning and afternoon sea breezes off the relatively cooler ocean, and during the passage of a tropical cyclone. The passage of a cold front through the state is rare during the warm season. The record high temperature for the state is 109 AA degree Fahrenheit at Monticello in 1931. Fog, like the remainder of the southeastern United States, Florida has a winter maximum and dense fog conditions. Unlike the remainder of the region, the maximum in Florida contains roughly half of the annual occurrences per year, on average. Its summer minimum is less than the remainder of the southeast. The annual number of heavy fog days or less, has ranged from 50 in Tallahassee, to 1 in Key West, the least foggy region in the state. The two types of fog that are mostly common in Florida are advection and radiational. Fog can be hazardous to early morning commuters. On January 9, 2008, when fog on Interstate 4 combined with smoke from a nearby fire reduced visibility to nearly zero. As a result, five individuals died in a 70 car pileup. Precipitation Averages Statewide, the highest rainfall amounts occurred during the summer months. In northern Florida, there is a weak winter secondary maximum while statewide the driest months of the year are during the spring. During El Nia plus or minus O, Florida sees greater rainfall between November and March. Due to the lack of a secondary maximum across the peninsula, a distinct dry season is seen in the averages from winter through spring. This dry season provokes brush fires annually as temperatures rise during the late spring, before they fade during early June as the rainy season gets underway. Extremes The heaviest rainfall to occur in 24 hours was measured in Yankee Town during Hurricane Easy, 38.70 inches. This is also the highest known point storm total maximum related to any tropical cyclone which has impacted Florida, and by itself would be the highest known rainfall total for any month from any location within Florida. This rainfall amount remained the national 24-hour rainfall record until Tropical Storm Claudette. Heavy rainfall events have fallen due to stalled fronts near the state as well, and occurred during the March through May and October through November timeframe. The wettest month recorded at a Florida climate station was during May 1891 when Gainesville, Florida received 30.90 inches. The wettest year on record for a Florida climate station was during 1879 when 127.24 inches fell at Pensacola, Florida. The driest year for a climate station statewide was during 1974 when only 19.99 inches fell at Key West. One of the worst years for wildfires was in 1998, at the end of an El Nino cycle. 480 wildfires consumed 500,000 acres statewide. In 2010, the National Weather Service issued more fire alerts in Florida than anywhere else in the nation. In 2011, they are raising their criteria in order to drop the number reported to one fifteenth of those reported in the past. A statewide drought existed until 2009, that began in November 2005, a month after Hurricane Wilma's passage through the state. The previous significant drought occurred in 2000, which was the state's driest year on record. Snowfall. The earliest recorded occurrence of snow or sleet occurred in 1774. The latest occurrence of snow or sleet in the spring fell on January 7, 8, and 9, 2010, as a cold front brought scattered snow flurries along with widespread sleet and freezing rain, especially in the northern and central portions of the state. The state record for snowfall is 5 inches, set in northern Florida during January 1800. The earliest in the season that frozen precipitation has fallen was during the late November 2006 nor'easter on November 21 across central Florida. The latest in the season that snow or sleet has fallen was on April 8, 2007. A trace of snowfall has been recorded as far south as Homestead, mainly during a January 19, 1977 event. Thunderstorms Florida reports more thunderstorms than any other U.S. state. Some places report in excess of 90 thunderstorm days per year, making Florida one of the most thundery regions outside of the tropics. 
Florida receives the highest density of lightning strikes within the United States. Several deaths per year are blamed on lightning, making lightning one of the deadliest weather-related phenomena in the state. However, since 1992, the number of lightning deaths has been slowly dropping despite a rising population, suggesting that lightning awareness programs are effective. The most likely targets of lightning strikes are construction workers and others who work outside, though 12% of the cases occurred indoors to people using electronic devices. Severe thunderstorms can sometimes produce hail, very strong straight-line winds and tornadoes. Very heavy rainfall from thunderstorms can result in flash flooding. Thunderstorms occur most often during the summer but can occur at any time of the year. Tornadoes There are more tornadoes per square mile in Florida than any other state. However, these tornadoes tend to be much weaker and short-lived than in other states like the Midwest or Great Plains. Strong tornadoes do occasionally form in Florida, usually in conjunctions with a cold frontal passage in the winter or spring. A total of 42 people died in February 1998 from the deadliest such tornado outbreak in central Florida, which occurred during the nighttime hours. While tornadoes in the Midwest are more severe, a higher rate of deaths are experienced in Florida, and Brevard County, specifically, due to higher population density and quantity of manufactured homes. Tropical Cyclones the earliest in the year a tropical cyclone has struck the Sunshine State was the Groundhog Day Tropical Storm in 1952. The latest impact was from a hurricane which struck near Tampa on December 1, 1925. The strongest hurricane to strike Florida was the Labor Day Hurricane of 1935. Hurricane Easy in 1950 produced the wettest known point total from any tropical cyclone. The record number of hurricane strikes on the state in one season is four in 2004. Hurricanes typically spawn tornadoes within their northeast quadrant. Tropical cyclones have affected Florida in every month of the year but January and March. Nearly one-third of the cyclones affected the state in September, and nearly three-fourths of the storms affected the state between August and October, which coincides with the peak of the hurricane season. Portions of the coastline have the lowest return period, or the frequency at which a certain intensity or category of hurricane can be expected within 86 mi of a given location, in the country. Monroe County was struck by 26 hurricanes since 1926, which is the greatest total for any county in the United States. Effect of climate cycles, El Nia plus or minus O has the following effects on Florida climate, above average rainfall in the spring. This is followed by wildfire threat when rain dries up. Northern Florida is more susceptible to severe weather. Below normal temperatures, increased number of low-pressure systems in the Gulf of Mexico during the winter, and almost always reduces the frequency of storms and hurricanes. La Nia plus or minus a has the following effects, often dry conditions prevail in late fall, winter and early spring, increased risk of wildfires in spring and summer months, the temperatures average slightly above normal, and the chance of hurricane activity increases substantially. Long-term forecasts are made based on these effects. However, they are easily overridden, in winter, by the Arctic Oscillation and North Atlantic Oscillations, which can only be predicted about two weeks in advance. These can drop the temperature noticeably from seasonal norms. Climates of selected Florida cities the climate regime for much of the state is humid subtropical, though portions of the Gold Coast of southeast Florida, as well as all of the Florida Keys, qualify as tropical wet and dry. A narrow eastern part of the state including Orlando and Jacksonville receives between 2,400 and 2,800 hours of sunshine annually. The rest of the state, including Miami, receives between 2,800 and 3,200 hours annually. See also. Climate, Climatology, List of Wettest Known Tropical Cyclones in Florida, Climate of Miami, Climate of the Tampa Bay Area, References External links, Florida Climate Center, Florida Climate Institute, 